Welcome to Mainframe Matters and today we have with us Louisa Sears, Chair of the Glass Act Technical History Committee for Open Mainframe Project. Louisa, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Yeah, and as today we are going to talk about Glass Act Project, uh, I want to understand, first of all, it's, it's, it's a new project. Uh, talk a bit about what is this project about, what problem is trying to solve, and also if you can tell me what is the story behind the name? <laughs> Okay, so the name is probably the easiest place to start. Um, so Grace Hopper is, I believe, the she's the, the kind of founder of COBOL. And um, she came up with the fact, the name The Bug because she came up with the first, first bug, I believe. And so when they were putting together the Galassa name, I believe it's the Latin name for a moth. It's, if you Google Galassa moth, then some, um, some pictures will come up. And so at the time, the team were looking for a name that looked a bit weird, looked a bit different. Um, and so there's, there's a, a loose connection with Grace Hopper, um, which is quite cool. It's, uh, it's about four years old, um, but we are just releasing it, of course, into the Open Mainframe project. Um, so at a kind of a high level, the problem we're, kind of, we're trying to solve is the manual testing that users and testers have to go through every day on the mainframe because ZOS is quite a unique um, platform to kind of develop and push through changes. So at the moment, from my understanding, testers will have to go through many manual steps. So for instance, if they were um, creating a new uh, banking account on the system, then you would have to log on to a web interface. You would then have to go into the back end, for example, Kix or IMS, um, and then into a database at the back. And at the moment, it's very difficult to make those, um, make those changes through testing it end to end. So at the moment, a tester would go in and look at their spreadsheet of um, individual kind of keyboard inputs into a 3270, and they would record those screenshots. Um, test results would be everywhere. And it would kind of be organized chaos is how I would probably describe it. Um, so Galassa is an attempt to automate that, make it seamless, and make it really easy for testers to kind of take back control of that ability to make changes. And um, you can, so you're, you're able to run that test, the, the going from the web interface all the way to the back end and back to the web interface again in one automated kind of suite, which is really nice. And that's where Galassa kind of fits into the, the kind of new mainframe modernization agenda. And as you're saying, you know, the project has been around for four years. So my question to you is that, uh, was it an internal IBM project? Uh, and uh, what made you folks kind of release this into open source? And also, if I'm not wrong, it will be officially announced at the Open Mainframe Summit, which is, you know, co-hosted with the IBM Tech Exchange event. So it was originally developed to solve the testing a conundrum within um, Kix, uh, the customer information control system within IBM itself, so its own development problems. Um, and they have their own testing facility, but the challenge they were having was exactly as I was describing. The ability to do the end-to-end -end integration tests were becoming much more difficult. And at the time, we, we have kind of yearly forums where customers can come and talk about their issues and talk about things that are going on. And one of the big questions that they always asked was, how do you test these mainframe applications? How do you do it in, in, internally? And we kind of would tell them what was going on and how we would fix it. And then they would say, great, can we have that solution? And that ended up being Glasser. So the way that it kind of evolved over time into the open source world. I think it's been open source for about two years. And um, the way that it kind of operates in terms of being able to extend Glasser, which is where the open source really comes into play, is that you have something called managers, which are these kind of plugins to Glasser where you can plug in the Kicks or the IMS or if there was something from um, another company, you would be able to create your own. For example, Azure would be a good, a good example of that. You'd be able to plug in the ability to talk to Azure all within the same framework, within the same test. Um, so the Open Mainframe project was a way for us to take it from its inception as an ability to do tests on internal IBM products 
and then it branched that out into cl- other cloud providers. Um, and some some users, some testers have very unique tools, and so Galassa is hoping to be able to accommodate to all of those different types of applications that you might need for an integration end-to-end test. When we look at open source project or open source communities, oftentimes it happens that there are projects which might overlap the functionality, and then sometimes there are gaps that you're trying to fill. I mean, if you look at open mainframe project, of course, they are not specifically for uh, testing like Cobalt Check is there, TSI is there, which do the whole deployment, but it's also the testing. So when we look at, uh, you know, uh, you know, this project, can you talk about where does it fit in, where it's like, you know, we are kind of building the whole kind of repository of the project, which complement each other very well. So there's a space, there's a couple of angles I could take here. The first one being that when I joined the mainframe community, I joined from kind of distributed world. I worked in cloud. I'd worked in open source previously, but it was all in the cloud forum. And so when I first came into Glassa, I thought, great, there's a way for me to test and access the mainframe without knowing the mainframe. Um, and that was my major hook in uh, into the project, really. And that's what I, I love so much about it. And what I love is that Zoe takes very similar um, values and, and kind of vision for the uh, for the mainframe. And I think Galassa and Zoe are definitely a, a potential roadmap item, I think, because it, it holds the same type of mainframe modernization story, looking at how we can get so, for instance, if you were in the um, if you're in the cloud team or you're a cloud tester and you wanted to be able to access the mainframe in order to to run your integrated tests in your automated pipeline, then you don't have to know intimate details about how to use a thirty two seventy in order to execute those tests. So, I think there's a really close alignment with kind of the values of the Open Mainframe project through modernization and accessing from a space of little knowledge of the mainframe. Um, The other project to mention would definitely be COBOL check. That's around um, specific testing of, I think it's unit testing of COBOL. So Galassa can definitely look to extend that into um, COBOL check. So those managers that I talked about previously, that would be a good extension. So you would have a COBOL check manager that would be able to handle specific COBOL check tests. Um, so really good integration points into the other projects in the Open Mainframe project, which uh, we're really excited and is hopefully on the roadmap um, for future Im- implementation. What kind of community that is already there or what kind of community you are looking at building around this project? Of course, because we sort of had an open source variation of this before officially anou- officially announcing this as part of the Open Mainframe project, um, we did. We have garnered some some interest already, which is great. Um, we've had some users, um, some customers looking at um, POCs with Glasser, and so as a baseline, we're in a really good position to to kind of start building the rest of the community. Um, at the moment, we have started. Obviously, I'm chair of the technical steering committee, so we've started that um, as a as a monthly meeting that we get together. There's currently four different companies that are involved in that, um, looking at the roadmap, looking at the blockers, kind of what are development doing day to day. Um, We already have a development team running um, as part of IBM, and we've now open sourced that. So the the scrum meetings uh, three times a week, and then we have an iteration planning that we do uh, every two weeks to look at storyboarding, look at what we're trying to aim for, um, and the well, what's really exciting is that now that we're being announced, now that it's officially out there, we can publicise those links more effectively. Hopefully, through the Open Mainframe Project website, um, so it's not just a closed room that only the IBMers can access. It is now a a full official open source project. Um, so I'm hoping to gain more of a conversation around testing. I think that's number one. I think the second is around, well, how can other companies, how can other users extend it? So I talked about Azure. We've got um, some users that have built an Azure manager. So how can we get that out into the public domain? Um, And 
yeah, how do we get access to those people that don't necessarily want to play with a, a mainframe at its core and at the nuts and bolts level? How can we get access to that from a, a kind of a higher um, a higher level in the testing that they're doing? I think that's the main idea for us growing this community. It's around extending that platform in with lots of tentacles. And earlier you were also mentioning that, you know, there are other companies which are also involved. Can you talk about who are the other contributors uh, which, which, who are contributing to this project? We run our public uh, technical steering committee meetings at the moment and involved we've got Broadcom. Uh, Macro 4 have given some really great talks on Galassa through um, GSE Nordics and we're hoping that Michelle will come back and do another talk at GSE UK about their use of Galassa. And finally, uh, Rabobank are on the technical steering committee. The project has been around for a while, but it's kind of new for the Open Mainframe Project and the committee. Can you also talk about what kind of release plan do you have for this project? We're currently, I believe, on version 0.29. So the team have been... um, fairly kind of baby steps around making sure that when we do release our first version, official version one, that it's the right time. And I think we've been waiting for adoption by the Open Mainframe Project to really get that going. So we, given, I said I, mean, I said before that we have weekly um, scrums and we also have bi-weekly iteration meetings. Um, that's probably fortnightly iteration meetings. And... Um, And so that forms the basis of our roadmap. So in that we've got, um, at the moment, our biggest work is around the CLI. So Galassa at its inception was accessed via Eclipse. um, And that worked quite well for the first time being because the internal Kix team used um, used Eclipse. However, now we're moving on to the CLI terminal-based move. And that's partly based on some of the conversation we had earlier about mainframe modernization, accessing the mainframe without knowing it. So being able to access Galassa through the CLI is one of the really big development points we're making at the moment. I think long term, we have some moves in terms of how we can interact with other managers. So making sure that that ecosystem of applications you can interact with are growing. Um, But we, we do have a full roadmap between now and I think the end of 2024, we at least have items in that we're looking at doing. Um, Authentication being one um, and, yeah, looking at the cable check and Zoe is something kind of for future that we're looking at. Um, We do go into more detail in the technical steering committee meetings, of course, but at the moment there are quite granular levels of roadmap items that um, I don't have to hand. Can you also talk about who would you like to see to get involved with this project and how they can get involved? So I would love to see some some te- some more testers involved. I'd love to see how we can really embrace the product, how we can, or project, sorry, and how we can really include more usable features within the CLI. So for example, at the moment, we screen capture all the way through that test plan. So from the um, web interface all the way through to the 3270, we're able to make the the screenshots of every time we make a change. So I think there's a a really great test bed for all of the users of um, of testing platforms, people that are currently using manual spreadsheets. I'd love to see them get involved and see how they can improve Galassa, see if they can find anything that would um, improve it from a from a usability perspective. I think the other great opportunity we have is around the cloud providers. There are lots and lots of different clouds out there. DigitalOcean, AWS, Azure, there's lots you can mention. And I'd like to see how other companies, other users are extending Galassa into those other applications. Um, so they're the kind of the main few that we could start with, but there are many more um, cases. For example, if, you, if you're if you a company that are doing internal testing, is, are there ways that we could help um, with Galassa? So I think, I think they're the kind of main things to start with. And then if you want to get involved, 
There are a couple of places you could do that. You could um, speak to one of the team directly on the um, Open Mainframe Project Slack channel. There's the Galassa website. So the website itself allows you to, it's got documentation to sign up, to look at the CLI. You can download that. Um, and then, of course, the GitHub page, galassa-dev. And that's where you have all the code base um, to, to browse through, to have a look at, um, and, yeah, contribute back if you feel like that's something you want to do. Luisa, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about this project. And I would love to chat with you again whenever there is an update to the project. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.